Hello everyone. Today, today we are going to compare two USB sticks. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Ugh. So this is the problem. When I start doing an accent and I'm just kind of goofing around, my accent is not very good. But when I concentrate, my accent is even worse, actually. Okay, here we go. The Dragonfly Red versus the Cobalt. I'm not going to show it to you. You you cannot see what they look like, even though I just uploaded a uh, unboxing of the Cobalt. So this is the first comparison of the Cobalt versus everything. Everything across the board. Everything, including the Mojo, the THX, the RME, you know, blah, 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 blah. Because this thing has a lot to live up to. Just like the Dragonfly had a lot to live up to. The red. And looking at it, <laughs> the Cobalt, the new upgraded version, is actually smaller. It's not by a whole lot, but it's enough to notice. On the top, it's probably a millimeter, a one and a half millimeters shorter. How do millimeters work? I don't know. But it's definitely shorter. And it doesn't seem to have as much girth. You can see that there's a little bit of the red showing on this side. So however they were able to upgrade the components and put them in here is part of miniaturization. So so that's part of the, the thing and then probably, probably uh, new circuitry, new boards or whatever else they, they put in here. Other than that, this thing is as rock solid as the red ever was. Um, the back of it has the same writing, the Dragonfly Red on this, Dragonfly Cobalt on this. Oops. The only real difference looking at it, other than the size, is that the uh, the red on the cap, it says Audio Quest on the top. It's pressed in there onto the metal, whereas the cobalt doesn't have that. But who cares? Nobody cares about that. I don't care. Do you care? No. Oh, look. It's like you're looking into infinity. Gaze upon infinity. Okay. So what are some of the claims? So some of the claims are it provides better sound for MP3s, YouTube, etc. Meaning streaming services. It has MQA and master's file support. It's got an upgraded microcontroller, headphone, amp, module, whatever. It provides bit-perfect variable output drives, headphones, powered speakers, and power amp. So this thing supposedly drives powered speakers. Okay. Includes a Dragon Tail USB-C adapter. So it's nice that they have included their own Dragon Tail, which is supposed to be the more better version of any USB stick you can ever find. Because as you know from AudioQuest, their cables have never had any problems whatsoever in design and function, ever. Except if you think about the AudioQuest Nighthawk or the Night Owl, because those cables suck. That being said, how about we just get to the comparison of the two? So the first comparison we're going to do today, and then we'll move on to, well, maybe we'll do the PC comparison. I got my laptop here, my broken down laptop. Let's see what happens. So as with the red, the Cobalt will require you to have the, for an, for an iPhone, their camera adapter, because that's how Apple swings around. You know, they just want you to waste more and more and more money. So I got to close this thing down. Hopefully it'll keep recording. Probably. It'll probably keep recording. Now I just can't see what's going on. And we're going to launch into Spotify. I'm going to, yeah. Oh yeah, of course, there is no connection. Obviously there's no connection because I'm connected to the camera. Ah, oh, that's good. That's good. You know what? Screw it. Forget the phone. We're going directly to the laptop. This is live. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how I do things. I do things like an idiot. You don't need to riff me. Remember we were talking about riffing? You don't need to riff. I'm riffing myself here. So what I've done, don't look at this. Don't look. It's my secret. Now you can look. Cord. Aha. Let's go to Spotify. Please launch Spotify. I have a USB uh, hub so I can just swing back and forth, swing back and forth, so I can switch back and forth between these two. That's activated. And that's activated. And it's kind of cool because the red has kind of this reddish hue. It's not really red because here's the thing. 
uh, it's pink. And the cobalt has kind of a light blue. They need to work on their colors. They should talk to Mojo. They should, they should talk to Cord because Cord can help them with their colors. And we're going to use the Neumanns. Now here's one of the things, one of the problems I've had with the red. It's that with this laptop, there's still a lot of jitter and noise from the USB port. And there's nothing I can do about it, no matter how much I try to attenuate. It simply will not work. I have to use the USB hub to kind of get a little bit of attenuation. So if you have a bad laptop that has really noisy USB implementation, then just letting you know, it's not the DAC. It's not one of these two. It's the fact that your computer was made shoddily, and unfortunately, this MacBook Pro from 2013 was. But we're not going to let that stop us because there is a way to get around it, which is when you increase the volume, that uh, noise goes away. All right, so let's go to my test playlist. And let's select audio construct. Oh, shoot. Which one's which? I can't tell. It doesn't tell me. Uh oh. We'll just pick one and hope that's the one. Let's go with mountains. That's not the one. Let's go to the other one. Yep, it's number two. Remember, red is number two. Why is that number two when I plug that in first? It doesn't matter. And as I said, at higher volume, I can't hear any uh, noise. Let's skip ahead to halfway into the song. Now, one of the things is that 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 there's not a whole lot of umph behind the song. That's part of the problem with the with the Neumann. It's not this as much as it is the Neumann. Let's move forward to halfway. <coughs> Excuse me, where the crescendo comes. Fairly clear. There's good soundstage. Uh, there's good separation. It sounds like a really good deck. Now, when I when we will compare e I, both each either whatever to other DAC amp, amp modules, um, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of separation as far as the detail is concerned. Th these two provide some excellent detail. The red does. Now let's switch to the cobalt. Let's go to number other one because now it's switched the numbers. Thank you, Mac. And let's start again. And immediately I notice that the volume off the Cobalt is significantly higher than the volume on the Dragonfly. It's just a huge difference. Significant difference. And I haven't touched the volume since I unplugged from here and put it into the Cobalt. I mean, if I were to give you an arbitrary number, how much more powerful the amplification is from the cobalt, I would say a good 25% more. Arbitrary number, obviously, but that's, that's how it feels. And I was not expecting that at all. Let's skip ahead to halfway. Wow. So here's part of, part of the thing. So the Neumanns are not particularly hard to drive, but I have to max out the volume on my laptop to get them really, really loud. Now it's half volume now, which is comfortable listening level. Hitting all the way max is nearing too much, but it's still not there yet. So there is that. What can I hear that's different? I, so the volume is immediately very, very different. Second, I think there is actually more separation and a little bit more detail from the cobalt than there is from the red. And how are we going to figure that out? Let's go back to halfway into the song, about one minute and 50 seconds. I currently have the cobalt. I'm going to listen for 10 seconds, stop, go back to the red, and then listen for 10 seconds, starting for 150 again. Got it? Good. Here we go.
max volume. Switching to the red. Yeah, immediately it sounds significantly more muffled. A closed off, claustrophobic feeling compared to the cobalt. And that, and that closed off feeling is draining the energy behind this song, especially that portion right midway when all the instruments come in and you have that giant crescendo. Whereas the cobalt, surprisingly, the cobalt just brings everything back to life. And the A and B test is, I am flabbergasted. I didn't expect this, to be honest. I did not expect this. What I expected was this thing, to the cobalt, to be basically the same thing as the red and Audio Quest jerking us off. But holy cow, are you serious? Now, Mountains, Mountains is not an easy song. Why is this on? Go to sleep. Mountains is not an easy song to uh, amplifiers and decks because there's so much detail in that song and, and, and you have to have a, a good pair of headphones and an excellent amp and deck to get all that separation. A bigger night and day difference I could not have foreseen. I could not have foreseen it. The red on this song is much more muffled, significantly more muffled. Now I told you that the volume difference between the two is about 25%. The cobalt is 25% more efficient in the power output. How about the, 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 the width of the song, the depth of the song, the detail? Generally speaking across the board, probably another 25% better. Generally speaking, but it, it just, the difference between the two, back and forth, is so significant that if you heard the red and then you heard the blue, you would immediately tell yourself, why would anybody ever buy the red? And you know, look, listen to me. Listen to me right now. Listen to me well. You know I'm not a show. I don't show products. I would just, I don't know what it was. I, it's, po it's possibly because this box is a terrible box. And it was, I, it lured me away. The, uh, the dragonfly lured me away from rationale for a moment. I just thought that the cobalt was not going to be all that much better. It's just marketing mumbo jumbo, which we know companies tend to do. But this is really, really interesting. Let's go to Haim by Want You Back. No, let's go to Want You Back by Haim. It's opposite day. Uh, well, I have the red max 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 volume. Let's do max. Actually, let's start at midway volume and then go to max slowly and see what happens. Here we go. No sibilance. That's more the headphone than this, obviously. So there's clear separation of the vocalists, as there was the first time I tested the red, that you can hear that separation in the background. They have different tonalities. They're a little bit off key. They're not perfectly timed with each other. So the so red is consistent again with that presentation. Let's go to the cobalt. And let's play. Oh, that's loud. So here's the thing. Around 50% volume on each. They sound practically the same, but when you start pumping up the, the, the juice here, about 75% on the cobalt sounds like 100% on the red. So I was very close, about 25%. Maybe I just kind of jinxed myself here, or you know, I'm just making things up. But that's how it feels to me. The 75% volume on the cobalt is 100% volume on the red. Keep that in mind. Let's keep going. We 
oh my goodness, the separation of these voices is much, much more clear than it was on the red. This is really, this is impressive. Guys, I, you know I don't get impressed by stuff very easily, but this is rather, this is rather impressive. So let's dig deep into this, okay? Let's, let's, uh, let's do something here. So let's go back to 10 seconds into this song when the, the backup vocalists come in. And what I want to do is listen for, from 10 seconds to about 25 seconds. In that 15 second time period, I want to listen for detail and I want to listen for separation and width and soundstage. I'm going to do that, then switch to the red, listen to it again, and then I'll give, I'm going to give you my impression. So going back to 10 seconds, here we go on the cobalt. Huh. Okay, let me try one more thing. Okay. So so at eight seconds, seven to eight seconds of the song, she has that W word W word. Ugh. The we word with the W letter, she drags the letter out, the W, we, she doesn't sing like that. She sings a whole lot better than me. Uh, it, it sounds like it's caught in the back of her throat and it's kind of just being dragged out of her throat. And it, it, it's a really nice, very raw sound. On both of these, it comes out fine. I, I don't hear a distinction between the two on that detail. But here's what I do here. I think... So I'm trying to match volume, and I have to max this the red out in order to get the same volume at 75% on the cobalt. And even then, even at maxed out, the red simply isn't able to give me all of that width in the song. It gets close, but it's not quite there. So what happens with the red is that it sounds a, a bit more claustrophobic than the cobalt. The cobalt has seems to have more air and a little bit more room in the song. So you have the sound stage. So you have, here's the primary vocalist, okay? The red cap's the primary vocalist. And you have these the backup vocalists on the left and right side behind her, okay? Pretend there's two of these things here. The, the red basically, it presents it this way. I need something else. Can I just not, there. That thing. One is taller than the other. And actually, in the music video, one is taller than the other. Uh, they're all very beautiful, though. So, the the red presents them like this. Okay? See this? Look at them. Look at them now. The cobalt, what it does is, it makes the sound presence like this. Wider. So... The red here, like just behind her, there's a little bit of separation. You can definitely hear it. The cobalt, a little bit there. So further away. And what does that do for your music? Not this, but what does that do for the music? Well, in my opinion, what it does is it allows a bit more airy airiness to come out in the song, a little bit more detail to come out as well with that airiness. You get, you get the sensation that you are actually out in the open hearing this in an exceptionally well-recorded environment. Whereas with the red, although it does sound good, it simply presents it in a much more narrow way compared to the cobalt. Now, both of these are going to be substantially better than anything off your phone or just off your, your computer. There's no doubt about that. But as we, as we sit here now, I can tell you once again, the cobalt ekes this out. Now, it's better... It's a, it's a much closer comparison on this song than it was on Mountains. Mountains was a clear winner for the Cobalt. On Want You Back by Haim, it's a little bit closer call, 
but I'm getting more of that separation on the cobalt than I am on the red. It's very good to know. Let's go to Angel by Massive Attack. We haven't heard that in a while. Now, Angel is a highly processed, uh, bass-heavy song. It's a lot of electronic mumbo-jumbo that is part of the song, purposefully. And headphones fall apart, DAS fall apart, amplifiers fall apart that are just poorly created, poorly engineered. The Neumanns are very badly engineered headphones for this song. But because they're bad, badly engineered headphones for this song, let's see if there is a difference between the red and the cobalt. Okay, so this should be interesting, hopefully. I have the, co uh, the red plugged in, let's go. It's good bass presence at max volume. You start getting a little bit of that impact, but it sounds muffled. The drum impact sounds a bit muffled. Okay, let's switch to the cobalt. I've matched volume, by the way. I haven't maxed out the cobalt. There's a bit more reverberation, a little bit more presence to the song, so more airiness. And so when there's a cymbal hit, it kind of decays a little bit slower on the cobalt than it does on the red. Other than that, it sounds practically the same to me on both of these. So for for Massive Attack by Angel by Massive Attack, it sounds basically the same. There seems to be a little bit more airiness on the cobalt than on the red, but the way that this song is engineered in conjunction with the Neumanns, unfortunately, it doesn't these two don't perform differently to each other. So the, <clears throat> if you have a, if your playlist is all massive attack and a lot like Angel, then you can get either of these apparently. There is a there's just a tiny bit more reverberation on the cobalt with the cymbal hit and a little just a tiny bit more airiness on this song. How about we go to something else? Let's go to Scherzo for Xing, which is an orchestral song. I can hear instruments all around my ear, directly in line with my ear, in front of my ear, behind my ear. It's a good presence all over. I can hear separation of all the instruments. And I can pick out that each group has more than one instrument. Some DAX and amps have a hard time showing the separation of instruments. But the cobalt, when a group of instruments plays, I can tell that there's two or three or four playing in conjunction because there's just a slight bit, there's like a little bit off somewhere in that group. Nobody's going to be absolutely perfect with everybody else in an orchestra. That's just not possible. Okay, let's switch to the red.
So with the red, it feels almost like the sound is coming right into my ear and it's not in, it's not covering my whole ear. So let's assume that this was my ear, right? The cold, the, the red basically shoots the sound into my ear, whereas the cobalt, I have the presence of instruments here, 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 and sound just encapsulating my ear. It's a much better experience, in my opinion, than it is on the red, because it immerses you in the song a little bit better. As far as the separation of instruments, and I told you that I heard multiple songs in a group on the Cobalt, can I hear, not multiple songs, multiple instruments uh, in a group on the Cobalt, can I hear the same thing on the Red? I can hear something close, but it's not exactly the same thing. I, th so, this is a little hard to explain if you're not listening to it A and B, you know, back and forth. But I would say that the red doesn't quite separate all the instruments to the same degree as the cobalt does. It's a, just a little bit more closed off, a little bit more narrow than the cobalt. It seems as if the cobalt has an easier time kind of, you know, running its fingers through somebody's hair, for example, right? It, you comb your hand, your, your hand through your hair and you separate the hair. The cobalt seems to do it a little bit better. It's got finer teeth in a comb and the red doesn't have finer teeth it's got those thick teeth on a comb and even though it's separating the the the, the sound the instruments it's simply not doing it finely enough as the cobalt does in comparison let's go to How about, let, let's do Flight from the City by Johan Johansson, which is a piano-centric song. A lot of airiness, a lot of etherealness. Once again, the Neumanns are not good headphones for this. Let's see if the two DAX here have a different presentation of the song on the, on the Neumanns. Here we go. Oh, God, it sounds like I'm sitting inside of a shipping container in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, and the ship is about to sink. Uh, uh, the Neumanns are terrible for this song. It's just so tinny, and there's so much overbearing ah, reverberation in the song that it, it, it totally destroys the piano frequency, in my opinion. There's an electric buzz in the background that's more prevalent on better headphones. The Neumann simply don't allow that buzz in the background to come out. Let's switch to the Cobalt and see if there's a difference. I would say that it, the Cobalt sounds just a little bit better in the way that it presents this song. The Neumanns still destroy this song because the Neumanns are awful for piano. But it's... So I'm not quite sure what's going on. I don't know if it's the DAC implementation. I don't know if it's the more efficient way of the, the power output. I, I don't know what it is. But what I can say is that the cobalt seems to allow the Neumanns to present the piano a little bit smoother than on the red. Whereas the red just sounded harsh and in my eardrums, the cobalt just kind of lets it, my ear swim in 
the way that the Neumann naturally presents it, unnaturally, I didn't say naturally, unnaturally presents the song, which is less fatiguing to me than it is on the red. When I max out the volume on the Cobalt on the song with the Neumann, it starts getting fatiguing, but not to the same degree as it did on the red at 75 to 80% volume on the red. Bottom line, I mean, is there a, is there a difference? Yes, but it might just be my subjective difference. It, it may not really be there. You may not be able to tell the difference. Maybe there is no difference. But I feel as if because there's a bit more width to the way that the Cobalt presents music and the way that it, it just makes it sound as if it's surrounding my ear instead of just forcing the sound into my eardrum, that it's easier for me to accept that the Neumanns are awful for piano. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's try... Hmm. What? I didn't ask you anything. Be quiet, robot. I think that was Google, I think. I don't know. They're both eavesdropping on me all the time and I don't like it. Uh, t -t 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 -t. let's let's try this. Let's go to drum solo by Jack Bruce, and let's see if there's a difference in the way that the bass drum hits are presented. I have the Cobalt currently. Here we go. About ninety-five percent volume. I'm going to skip ahead to when he's riffing. There's a lot of, of sound stage for that drum strike. It, it just sounds airy. Like the sound is carrying further before it hits my ear, which is a very natural way to, to experience this. Okay, let's switch to the red. Okay, so the cobalt sounds a bit more claustrophobic for sure. The drum strikes, although they're 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 precise, they are they have fast decay, meaning it hits, you get a slight reverberation and it moves on. The cobalt presents that same sound, but wider. So it sounds better, like you're outside in an in an open field at a concert listening to this, like maybe you know, a hundred feet away from stage. Whereas with the cobalt or with the red, it sounds almost like you're in a closed off room somewhere, a, a large room, but a closed off room. And you're standing somewhere in the middle of the audience and the sounds are reverberating all over the walls and it's coming into your ear. It, it doesn't sound as natural to me when compared to the cobalt. So because of that airiness, a little bit more width, the the drum hit, though almost probably equally precise, the hit itself, the reverberation, the presence of that drum hit seems to be more natural to me, to my ears on the Cobalt. Let's try Natalie by Milk and Bone. And I have the red currently connected.
it's just it sounds closed <laughs> closed off and and there's supposed to be an echo in this song right around here about 30 seconds to 45 seconds as she's saying ooh 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 and it just seems like it's bouncing off a wall much faster much quicker than it really should Let's switch to the cobalt. But 90% volume on the cobalt. The guitar already sounds more airy and a little bit more detail whereas with the with the red it just sounded more like a thumbing you know a thumping guitar whereas the cobalt really just sounds like an electric guitar the voice is airier you can hear her breathing with the cobalt and it, and when the echo comes in it doesn't sound like it's you're standing right here and you're just yelling into the wall. That's how the red com shows this part portion of the song when compared to the cobalt. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's surprising, but the cobalt's presentation of the vocals is a night and day difference. It's more natural, more airy. You can hear the vocalists breathing. You can hear that there's separation amongst each vocalist. Whereas with the, with the red, there is separation, but it just sounds closed, right? Remember what we did? Remember we said, you know, left and right and all that sort of stuff and how far away? It stands true with Natalie as well. So let's concentrate to between one minute and 50 seconds and two minutes. In that 10 second gap period, there she's singing and she's singing slowly. She is very articulate in what she says and she's very precise with her words. I want to hear the details in the words and let's see if there's more detail that's coming out from the cobalt versus the red. So I have the cobalt in right now and I'm going to put it at 90% volume. And when I switch to the red, I'm going to put it at 100% volume. One minute, 50 seconds to two minutes. Here we go on the cobalt. Okay. Switching to the red. No, the detail seems to be about the same. The detail present seems to be about the same. Looking for, you know, how she ends the word, how she emphasizes the last letter of the word. Equally detailed, I would say. But overall, the, the whole picture of the song is a, it's a better presentation of the cobalt than it is on the red because of what I just said, the separation, the airiness that the cobalt provides that the red simply does not in the same degree but the details are there just not as much as i want on the red does that kind of make sense because it's closed off let's do one last song let's do new light by kazuki which is layered with details i have the red plugged in let's go
So the song has kids playing in the background. You, you're supposed to hear them. Uh, wind rustling, which is the prevalent secondary detail. Prevalent secondary detail? The primary detail is, is the piano and this synth thing that's going on. Then there's the wind that's rustling. Then after that, there's supposed to be steps that you hear. And then after that, you can, you're supposed to hear the kids in the background. That's how it's layered. Let's go to the cobalt. I can say right now that the cobalt presents this a little better because of that airiness, that width. I, I'm hearing the piano presentation a little bit better on the cobalt compared to the red. The red had it a little bit like it's compressed, it's a little bit more claustrophobic. Because there's a little bit more room on the cobalt, I'm getting more of the detail in the wind and I'm getting more detail on the walking, the footsteps. The kids in the background sound about the same to me on both, but it's the other details involved that are above the kids, which are way in the background, that is of more note. The difference is, is in my opinion, noticeable. Though it may not be significant for you, it is noticeable, in my opinion. Yeah, okay. So, there you go. Uh, interesting comparison. I have to... Not to be honest, I didn't expect this to be so different. Now, you may not be able to tell the difference with your, with your songs or your headphones, but the general impression that I'm getting is that the Cobalt has a wider presentation the clarity, I think, comes out a little bit better because it's a little bit wider. There's a little bit more airiness to the song, so the details tend to come out a little bit better than on the red. The red is... Hi. The red is more claustrophobic, more closed off. In some songs, you may like that. You want that intimate feeling. And the contrary is that in some songs you will not like the o more open experience that the cobalt tends to give, in my opinion. So, there's a give and take. There seems to be a sound signature difference that is just enough to say that the cobalt is not the red and the red is not the cobalt in the way that the sound is presented. Which one is better? Well, you know, that's, that's the thing. It all depends on, on finances, again, it, it is a major factor. $100 more for the Cobalt, $300, $300 for the Cobalt versus, you know, $199 for the Red, so $200. You can find the Red a little bit cheaper now, $179, $150 some places, but because the Cobalt has come out, the Red is going to probably drop in price a little bit. The cobalt is going to, because it's the king and it's all fresh and brand new, is going to remain at a higher price bracket for some time. That's that's part of the consideration. But the power output, I, I just, if there was, if there's one stark difference I can say between the two, something that is well above everything else that I mentioned, it's the power efficiency of the cobalt versus the red. It is hands down the more powerful USB DAC of the two. There is no doubt in my mind about that. Of the sound signature, it really comes down to your preference, which is a good thing. If you want a slightly more closed off, more slightly more intimate presence, then the red is probably the way you should go. If you want something a little bit wider, 
and with that tendency to be wider to bring out a little bit more detail and separation than the cobalt. Now this doesn't mean, by the way, this doesn't mean that the cobalt is like the THX or the 789 or the JDS Labs. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying just the comparison of the two right now, this is the presence that I, I'm experiencing <clears throat> from both. It was an interesting comparison. I was not expecting this. I'm glad that it turned out this way. Okay, hopefully that has been helpful to some people. Uh, I, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed, think about subscribing. And uh, hey, look, this is, I think, the very first video on YouTube actually comparing these two. Now, I may have missed some things. I may have not talked about something that you really want me to talk about. Hey, leave a comment down below. I will... Uh, go back and I'll, I'll make some adjustments. I'll upload a, a video specifically to that issue that I missed or answer a question that you have. I will be happy to do that. That's the whole point of having this channel is that we interact and I get to have the opportunity to to address some of your questions and concerns and requests. That's That's what I'm here for. That's what I like doing. Now, last thing before we go, I am going to give away... I'm giving something away for a change, huh? I'm not taking anything from you either, but, you know, I'm going to give away one month, two months, wait, hold on, let me see, two months, I'm going to give away two months free for Tidal. Now, you can go on Tidal right now, and you can get three months free for, t for Tidal if you want, but let's assume that you have already wasted your three-month trial period for Tidal, and you want two more months out of it. I have, with the, the Dragonfly Cobalt, came this Tidal... Um, thingy, this two two month subscription for free, and uh, I'm going to provide that actual code to the individual, to one individual. The other one is Cubuzz. I think it's Cubuzz. Cubuzz says that I can get one month free of free high res music streaming, but there's no code on here. So maybe it's just a Cubus thing. Like we're gonna give a month free for everybody. So that I don't think that does anything because there's no code. There is a code for title. So I'm gonna give that to somebody. What I would like in order for this to be somewhat, you know, fun, at least for me, is in the comments down below. Tell me a joke, a funny one. Make it a really good joke. And it, look, I'm gonna give you some time to do this. Uh, Monday. I'm gonna give you until Monday. Monday. The contest ends, and any anybody who wants to enter, you have until midnight this Sunday, the whatever it is, what is, what is, whatever this date is, this Sunday. I should tell you, for those people who are not in the U.S. of A, no, I just want to, let me see the calendar. The 28th, so you have until the 28th, midnight at the 28th, to put in a comment, a joke. I will choose the joke that I find the funniest. And the person who makes me laugh the most is going to get this code. Is that fair? Probably not. Because maybe you're not funny. I don't know. But try to be funny. You know, just try to be... And don't, don't give me those hack... Uh, don't give me those hack jokes you find online. Don't just Google somebody's funny joke and just copy and paste. This has got to be on your own merit. Because if I'm going to give away two months, even though you can get three months on title for free right now, uh, you got to put a little bit of effort in. Okay? Is that cool? A joke. By midnight, the 28th of July. Give me a joke. And then I will pick which one made me laugh the most. And I will share that joke with the rest of you. And then I will send the code to the individual who made me laugh. I'm not going to post it on the comments because then anybody else can pick it up. Just the person that, that uh, made me laugh. How about that? Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you very much for supporting me. Thank you... Once again for subscribing, I picked up a couple more subscribers over the last 24 hours or so. That's fantastic. Thank you. Welcome to the community. I appreciate you coming in. We are a warm and welcoming community. I think we talk amongst ourselves and uh, we make fun of me, which is, eh, it's okay. And today, today was the first time anybody on YouTube that I know of actually compared these two. I planted my flag. Have a wonderful Friday evening. It's 8 o'clock. I haven't even eaten yet. It's 8 o'clock. Have a wonderful evening. Have a great weekend. I hope that you can come up with a great joke. Take care.